Hello everyone, welcome to another video in Comsol Multiphysics. In this video, we will learn how to use colored selection in Comsol. So I'll start with uh, creating a blank model. So I'll just click on blank model. And just uh, as an example, I'll just add a 3D component. Okay, so let me just create a basic geometry just to show you the capability. So I'll go on to geometry and then click on a block and I have like uh, one cross one cross one. So this is the block. Okay. Uh, I'll just remove all this. So let me just create an array of block to do that. I'll just select this, make this like a linear of, uh, let's say six block with a displacement of one along X. So I'll click on all object. So now you see I have six different blocks, basically six domains. Okay. Now we used to just create selection. Let's say I do a explicit selection and then we used to select a domain and then set some color. Maybe we can select, uh, make another selection, select another domain or edge then select another color and so on then we would have like different colors for different selections so i'll just delete this and i'll show a quick way to do uh, selections okay so i'll just uh, delete this selection so if you go on to the colored selection tab and here you just select like domains and if you click on generate you'll see that uh, automatically just like clicking once it creates explicit selection of the different domains automatically right this may be helpful if uh, your domain uh, have different elements that represents different values for some parameter uh, this may be useful and it will save a ton of time not only that uh, there are different settings you can do for example let's say i want to select uh, boundaries so I'll just delete this. Maybe I'll just delete this and I'll delete this and I'll just create like a normal mesh. And again, I'll select boundaries and then now I'll click on generate. Now you see that I have separate color for separate boundaries, right? Now you can select one boundary and for example, let's say i select this one and if i say that group by continuous uh, tangent now it will select all the surface in that particular uh, tangent right so uh, you can uncheck it so i'll just click on undo to get back my original selection so this is a quick way to actually uh, make colored selection in your model and of course it is very easy to then delete whatever you don't need so this is it. I thought uh, I should make a quick tutorial about uh, this feature. And of course, you can clear the selection and then in the settings, you can have two options like shed and tint, and you can play with this random number to get different results. So thank you for watching. And if you like this video, do follow this channel and check out more tutorials uh, related to this. Thank you and have a nice day ahead.